Hello everyone, once again, you're welcome to our channel. Today we shall be discussing on how to use the route always criterion. Once again, how to use the route away criterion to determine the stability of a transfer function. Now, today we have a closed transfer function equation of this particular one, which is k into bracket s plus a over s raised to power 3 plus 2 s raised to power 2 plus ks plus ka. Now, by pulling out the, the denominator, which is the one given here, s raised to power 3 plus 2 s raised to power 2 plus kx plus ka. How do we plug it into route always array? First of all, to put it in the route arrays, we single out all the polynomial coefficients. So therefore, our S3, that is, the, in, the coefficient of S3 will be 1. So we put 1 here. Then the next coefficient, which is the, by leaving the second one, the third one, becomes K. That becomes K. And the next one becomes 0. That gives us 0. Now, coming to the second row, which is 2s2, the first coefficient is 2. Then by leaving this, the next one to the next, that gives us ka. Now, the first thing is to find the determinant of this matrix that we, we find, which is 1k, 2ka. So by using the above formula, which is 1 over 2, that is 1 over 2 into matrix 1k, 2ka, that gives us 2k minus 2ka over 2. So that gives us k into 1 minus a over 2, calculated. So that gives us the next input to the column. Now, how do we find the next column, which is x0? So then we use the same way, finding the determinant of the input on the imp on the column and the and the rows. So that gives us our x. Let's say this is our x, which we have we find. Then that becomes our y to find the next column. That gives us y equals 1 over x into matrix 2x ka0. So our y column that gives us ka calculated. So we find ka. Now the next row becomes 0, 0 calculated. Now that we find the, all our all our columns on the route array. In order for us to find the stability, all the sign changing on the column must be positive or must never change. So therefore, by equating our equation here, which is k minus a over 2 greater than 0 to check the stability, that gives us 1 minus a over 2 greater than 0. So therefore, our a is less than 2 calculated. Also, we apply the same method to the last column, which is k a. So by pulling out a out of k, so therefore our a is greater than zero. So therefore, to for the closed loop from strata function to be stable, 
zero must be less than a and a must be less than two calculated so therefore for the criterion to be stable for the system to be stable in this particular route or which criterion zero must be less than a and a must be less than two so therefore by plotting and sketching the stable region for the whole system using the route or which criterion we have this particular diagram that is when k is zero a is two so therefore all the region under the boundary level a is equals to is stable and outside are unstable so this particular place is unstable this is unstable this particular place is unstable this particular place is unstable so the boundary region under a equals 2 y k equals 0 represented the stable region which is shown here thank you very much for staying tuned